it is a momentous quarter for from AT&T from that perspective. They'll actually have a month of Time Warner uh, in the numbers, although I'm sure we'll get a breakout of AT&T on, on a standalone basis, too. And look, I think the focus is really going to be twofold. This is really the first time for, for Randall Stevenson, the CEO, to lay out his strategic vision now that they've closed uh, that transaction. And I think that's what investors are going to be you know, looking to hear more about what they plan to do with the Time Warner assets. What can they do you know, with HBO, from my perspective, as an over-the-top platform to dovetail with the over-the-top investments they've made in, in DirecTV now? And, of course, he's been a big advocate of some of the digital advertising opportunities, and so I'm sure we'll get an update uh, on that end as well. So when you touched on HBO there, one of the, the, the big question marks is how much money AT&T plans to invest in that business, whether it comes to in terms of content um, relative to Netflix with $8 billion spent on content. I think HBO right now is about $2 billion. What number do you want to hear? Well, I think there is an opportunity to, to enhance it. I, I don't expect them to go to $8 billion. And, of course, in the case of Netflix, that's just the, you know, the county P&L number. The actual cash spend is probably closer to $13 billion numbers. And, I, you know, I think in the case of HBO, there, there should be incremental opportunities. But as they've proven over time, they've been able to deliver great content on a much lighter budget than, than what Netflix delivers. But, yeah, sure, can that number go to $3, $4 billion? That's probably something more in the, in the, the neighborhood of what, what I'd look for to further enhance that. Uh, and, and still be right. you know competitive, but still be able to in, drive overall cash flow for the for the overall business, which of course is important for AT and T. AT and T stock is up in the pre market about one percent. I imagine off the back of better than expected earnings from Verizon. Is there any takeaway from the Verizon earnings that you're making this morning? Yeah, Andrew, that that's a that's a very good point. You know, Verizon did print a good number um, this morning, beat top and bottom line. That was driven by wireless. And one of the things we've looked for across this industry coming into the quarter. Uh, is the impact of what appears to be a more benign competitive environment. We do think that will play out for AT&T as well. We expect at least solid wireless results for them as well as some of the other industry players. So I, I think that helps. Of course, they're also being hamstrung by challenges in their linear um, TV business, and we'll be looking for more color there as it pertains to the, to the margin Real. outlook. But. Well, just speak to this, because you, you, you refer to this environment now as benign. Uh, the analysts that we spoke to in the last hour about Verizon also talked about that idea in the context of T-Mobile and Sprint maybe taking their foot off the gas a little bit while this transaction, uh, the merger between them, gets together or not. We will see uh, on the regulatory front. But long term, do you think that that deal is going to make the environment more competitive or less? <laughs> Well, Andrew, that, that, that's a very good question. I mean, you know, look, I mean, you know, T-Mobile and Sprint are trying to make the case that it will be more competitive. They'll, they'll have a greater arsenal of assets at their disposal to compete with AT&T and Verizon. Look, and I, and I think because I've made those comments, certainly if that deal actually is approved and closes, and we've still been somewhat skeptical of that, but if that occurred, they'd almost have to be aggressive out of the gate. Truly longer term, I think generally speaking, you'd rather have, you know, fewer competitors than more, right, if you're one of the industry players. Um, and so I... You know, I think over time, you got to believe it reduces competitive intensity, but, you know, it does provide them an interesting set of assets to be more aggressive, at least out of the gate. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.